or the pressure. When I say pressure here, I'm talking about the atmospheric pressure. Right. Okay. The higher the altitude, the, the lower the boiling point. The lower the boiling so point. Lower atmospheric pressure. Remember, that I think it boiled at was lower. in something like 87 degrees something at the like top that. of that mountain, where normally it's 100 degrees. Right. Wilhelm at Park, it's 92, 92 93-ish, yeah. something like that. So when the vapor pressure equals the atmospheric pressure, atmospheric pressure, the substance will boil. boils. So that's pretty cool. Well, actually, I put words in here. I'm pretty good at that, aren't I? Well, well that's good. Okay. Let's talk about solids. Now, let's kind of change gears a little bit. Okay. Um, melting point. What's melting point? I don't know what the next side is. Hey, guys. Hey, so, we're talking about melting points. Okay. Now, I think you know this. I mean, this is sort of melting point. Yeah. So, if I have a piece of ice and put it in my hand, it, like, melts. Right. So, and so that's the temperature that a substance goes from solid to liquid. So, we could draw it like this. We can say solid. This will put a little, like, uh, scientific notations. Arrow. Actually, we'll do double arrow and say liquid. Okay. So when you go across this direction, it will melt. And actually, when you cross the other direction, it will freeze. freeze. And that occurs at the same temperature. The melting point and the freezing point of something is the same that temperature. That is correct. Mm -hmm. So here is actually a pretty cool oh, picture. That's cool. We have a, a guy holding um, some solid, what is it? Probably gallium. Gallium? It yeah. could be mercury, too. Well, it wouldn't well be that a, mercury wouldn't be a solid room temp. Oh, that's but right. Oh, yeah, it would be gallium. Gallium, gallium, right. gallium will actually that's right. melt this is in gallium. your hand. Yeah. Gallium? Yep. Whatever. I-U-M. Gallium. <laughs> so that's gallium, so it will melt in your hand. It's yeah. a liquid, a metal. Or it's a solid, but it's just right at the boiling point. And of course, this is a classic picture. Of course, we have ice and water. I'm not sure I'd want to be walking with this. <laughs> going. Uh, this is probably a river here, but actually, I know what the temperature of that water is, Mr. Sam. I don't even have a thermometer with me. Really? Yeah. You know what, what is it is? It? It's zero degrees Celsius. Because it How is do you know that? Well, because the water has ice in it. And all ice water is going to be zero oh, degrees yeah. Celsius because it has got substances that are solid and liquid. And so some of it's melting or freezing, depending on whether it's kind of colder or getting warmer. Yeah. Usually, I guess this is probably getting warmer this time of the day here. Okay, we can also talk about solids. Now, there's a funny thing called an allotrope. Okay. Mr. Sanders, what is an allotrope? Uh, well, uh, it's when you have a solid, and mm -hmm. it's the same element, but same it has element. a different configuration and sometimes like a different formula. Yeah, usually like a different formula. So yeah. different solid forms of the same element. So yeah. a classic example is sulfur. We can have sulfur that has this eight-part uh, uh uh, little ring ring thing. yeah and so that's s8 and then something called white phosphorus oh, yeah little. different element oh this is a wh yeah, white so phosphorus and black phosphorus right. white phosphorus has this we call a tetrahedral, tetrahedral arrangement and this is kind of a cubic arrangement right. so there are actually two different varieties of the same yeah chemical. so same elements just arranged differently carbon carbon's uh, pretty have, cool yeah so there's several uh, allotropes of carbon let's yeah. actually put them all up here actually yep. there they are this right, right here um is the um uh, elemental all, configuration of a diamond, diamond. yeah that's all uh, tetrahedral arrangement is what we call that over here we've got these sheets of carbon and then that's graphite so that's what's in your pencil now see the how those sheets are kind of stacked on top of each other they'll slide on top of each other that's, that's why graphite is real yeah. slippery mm -hmm. and also yeah, why we uh, use it for pencil lead because it can yep. slide off mm -hmm. and this is the kind of the most famous well the most recent famous yeah. one I should say diamonds are pretty famous a buckyball this is called a buckyball or buckminster fullerene there was, why is it called Buckminster Fuller? Because there was somebody named Buckminster Fuller who came up with it. That's exactly right. So they named it some famous science. Yeah, game. they're actually using that to deliver really, really tiny particles to um, um, spots where it could normally get. It's called you like, know, nanotechnology. They're yeah. making also things called nanotubes. They're making something similar in a tube arrangement to uh, deliver things. A lot of medications cool applications and like to yeah. this whole thing. Okay. Great. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Some more things here. Um, there's something called an amorphous solid. I think yeah, they're pretty cool. They're very you know, we're going to do an amazing demo towards the end of the year, though, with the amorphous water and the fish. Mm -hmm. Don't ever want to miss. It is the coolest. You know, we talked about the other demo being the coolest demo of the year. This is the this is right coldest demo of the year. Yeah. So it's kind of cool and cold at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. You have to watch that. Okay. An amorphous solid is a solid when it cools down quickly and does not form a crystalline structure. Right. It, we call it flash freezing. It cools really, 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 really fast. Yeah. And so more, usually when a solid freezes, it forms into a crystal. But if it's cooled too quickly, it it's just not going to happen. Forms into a block. So actually, here's the classic picture right here. Here we have um, a picture of some obsidian. Obsidian is volcanic glass. Mm -hmm. This substance right here, it cooled down very quickly. This was in a volcano. 
Um, and when the volcano, when the volcanic um, rock cooled so quickly, it did not have a chance to form. Uh, right, might have hit some water or something yeah. like that, and formed in fro air froze and um, solidified really, really quickly. Yeah, into froze. A, that's good. Right, yeah. glass in in your window is a it's, it's similar. It's uh, it's an amorphous solid. It doesn't have a regular shape. Yeah. So a glass, yeah, glass is an amorphous solid. It's not a regular shape. It actually is the same consisting of silicon dioxide. Okay. So actually, well, I talk about glasses, not yeah. as in glasses like the safety glasses, but in glasses like uh, for... Uh, Just different types of glass. Yeah, different kinds of glass.